This week we're taking a look at a project that has been years in the making in our little island home. I'm talking the recycling of tons of marine plastics washed up right here on Scilly shores. We have many avid beach cleaners both living locally and visiting Scilly, which is fantastic. But all of that marine waste has to go somewhere and it can't just be recycled with normal household waste as waste that's been floating out at sea for years has to be handled separately. This set our comms officer and beach clean fairy, Nikki, thinking of a way to make use of the marine litter collected across the archipelago. And that is when Recycle Plastic Boardwalk sprang to her mind. Some of you may already be familiar with the Recycle Plastic Boardwalk our rangers have laid here on the moors on St Mary's. And that is the new fate of all of the tons of marine plastic that you, our lovely supporters, have collected over the last couple of years. Our rangers picked up the collected marine waste, with a little helping hand from Artie, from our beach clean bins and collection piles around the islands. And brought it back here to the office to be sorted into recyclable and non-recyclable items. And, as you can see, from this hovercraft toy, it's astonishing what washes up on our shores with each incoming tide. Once the shipping container arrived, it was time to get loading and by the end of the week, it was completely jam-packed and ready to go. And these plastics have a fair journey ahead of them. The plastics would be collected by Keep Britain Tidy's Ocean Recovery Project and stored at Exeter City Council before being shredded and granulated at Devon Contract Waste. Granulating the plastic decreases the space needed for transport, in turn reducing the carbon footprint of the plastic's journey. From there, it will be sent to Chestnut Polymers, who use advanced techniques to tackle the mixed natures of marine plastics. Finally, the marine waste's recycling journey will be completed by being transformed into boards and decking for use at sites like our wetlands here in Scilly, as well as for the horticultural and agricultural industries. Fence posts that can be supplied to the rail network will also be made. For this first collection, the Arsa Scilly Steamship Group have kindly provided us with the container and transport to Penzance Keep free of charge, making this exciting project possible. We've had fantastic help from ISSG, the Ocean Recovery Project, Exeter City Council, Devon Contract Waste and Chestnut Polymers and this is something that we'd love to do more of in future to make marine waste more useful. However, this process doesn't come cheap and it was logistically challenging and time consuming for our comms officer Nikki to organise all of this in absence of funding for the project. If this is a project you'd like to see more of in future, then please do consider a small donation. Or if you perhaps run or know of a business who may be able to help us support this work in future, then please do get in touch with us via our website or social media. 